Dear students, hope you have an idea about individual constructivism from my previous class. In that video, we have discussed about Jean Piaget's theory and today we are going to look into Brunner's, Jerome S. Brunner's constructivist based approach to education. It is an approach that encourages the development of thinking. According to Brunner, knowing how to learn is more important than the material learned. In other words, learning is not a simple stimulus response bond formation, but a cognitive process. Here also, similar to Piaget, each learner participates in the process of knowledge generation. Brunner suggests that students should understand the structure of a body of knowledge rather than memorizing it. They have to understand the exact body of knowledge. According to him, learners should be presented a problem situation to which they would have to seek alternative solutions. They have to discover things by themselves. Brunner emphasizes that children arrived at their own area is usually more meaningful than those proposed by others. Matullaveri paranya kodukkunna facts ne kaalum principles ne kaalum okke avaravaru soyam cheythu kandupidichu soyam kandupidichu edukkunnadana koodal nanna ennaanu Brunner suggest cheynathu. Coming to the characteristics of Brunner's theory, the first point that is learning is a cognitive process, not a simple stimulus response correct connection. What is meant by cognitive process? Here, the individual uses his thoughts and sensory input to get knowledge. So, it is more than that of simple SR connection. The second one, each learner is an inquirer of knowledge. That means he is inquisitive in his approach. He always asks questions to get knowledge. Then the third one, curiosity, the most dynamic force of discovery is the basic instinct of each and every individual. Every individual has a tendency to acquire knowledge he is curious to get or to collect knowledge. So, curiosity is an important or basic instinct of each and every individual. Next point is discovery learning. The type of learning proposed by Brunner is discovery learning or kandathal padana. Here, children learn by their own effort and discover by themselves. They directly involved in the process of learning and knowledge that is created or knowledge is constructed in them with their own effort. Another characteristic of Brunner's theory is spiral curriculum, sequencing the content. And I think you have learned it in 205. So here the total content that is split into various graded stages appropriate to developmental stages based on the individual's cognitive ability that is called spiral curriculum that also proposed by Brunner. Brunner's cognitive development theory suggests that intellectual development occurs through three phases namely inactive, iconic and symbolic representations. These stages are described in terms of the nature of the experiences used by an individual to form concepts, concrete ideas and build up a cognitive structure. Oro vektiyalum avaravarade knowledge development in vendi endu tarathilulla pravartanangalana ubayogapaduthunnathu. Adana modes of representations ennu parayunnathu. Pravartanangalilude avarile edu tarathilulla cognitive structure aanu allengil learning aanu nadakkunnathu. Adine base cheyidana Brunner paranjirikkunnathu. Inactive, iconic and symbolic modes of representation or stages of development. 
ഫസ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റേജ് ഈസ് ഇനാക്റ്റീവ് സ്റ്റേജ് ഫ്രം സീറോ ടു ത്രീ ഇയേഴ്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൾസോ കോൾഡ് ഡയറക്റ്റ് സ്റ്റേജ് ഓർ ദി സ്റ്റേജ് ഓഫ് ആക്ഷൻ ആൾ സ്റ്റുഡൻസിൻ്റെ പ്രവർത്തനവുമായിട്ട് ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട് വരുന്നത് ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ ദ ചൈൽഡ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ്സ് ത്രൂ ആക്ഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് ദ ചൈൽഡ്സ് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ഓബ്ജെക്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇവൻസ് ഇൻ ടേംസ് ഓഫ് അപ്രോപ്രിയേറ്റ് മോട്ടോ റെസ്പോൺസസ് ഓർ ആക്ടിങ് ഔട്ട് ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് ഇനാക്റ്റീവ് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻ ഹിയർ ദ ചൈൽഡ് ഡിഫൈൻസ് ഓബ്ജെക്ട്സ് ഇൻ ടേംസ് ഓഫ് ആക്ഷൻ അപ്പോൺ ഇറ്റ് As an example, a child waves his hand when his father or mother moves outside. One thing is that the child is in the same way, 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 the inactive stage. That is the first stage of development. Second stage proposed by Brunner is Iconic Representation. the age is 3 to 10 years this is the stage of imagery and here the child understands world through images icon means image so here the mental images stand for objects or mental images are the substitute for actual objects the concepts that are emerged out of inactive experiences are internalized in the form of icons as example here when a child draws the picture of an animal or an object instead of the actual thing the actual object that is called iconic representation so here chitrangalo modelgalo attaram karyangal upayogichu karyangal manasilakunu aadyathe iconicile adinum aa object in melulla action lude padikunu rendamathad varumbo adinu pagaram ആ ഓബ്ജക്റ്റിൻ്റെ പിക്ചേഴ്സ് ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നു തേർഡ് സ്റ്റേജ് ഈസ് സിംബോളിക് സ്റ്റേജ് സിംബോളിക് സ്റ്റേജ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ കോൾഡ് ദ സ്റ്റേജ് ഓഫ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് മോസ്റ്റ് അഡ്വാൻസ്ഡ് ഫോം ഓഫ് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻ ഹിയർ ദ ചൈൽഡ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ്സ് ത്രൂ അബ്സ്ട്രാക്ട് ഐഡിയാസ് ഹി ഈസ് ഏബിൾ ടു ട്രാൻസ്ലേറ്റ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസസ് ഇൻ ടു ലാംഗ്വേജ് ആൻഡ് യൂസസ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് ആസ് ആൻ ഇൻസ്ട്രമെൻ്റ് ഓഫ് thinking as an example the child explains his visit to a tourist spot edengilum okke symbols allengil pratheegangal abstract ideas okke upayogichulla padhanam aanu symbolic stage ennu parayunnathu appo bruner parayunnathu three stages undu nu paranju first stage action upon it the child learns the second stage he develops some images and the third stage he uses abstract ideas his thoughts uses language to explain chindich adine kurichu parayan kariyunnadana moonamathathu coming to the educational implications of bruner's theory implementation of spiral curriculum that means the curriculum that should be arranged with increasing difficulty based on the intellectual ability of children then converting learning material into a form appropriate to intellectual ability of the child learning experience that can be learning material can be converted based on the individuals intellectual potentiality or his chronological age you can say then teaching learning situations should be process oriented because the discovery learning is proposed by bruner so the each and every individual should be placed in the position of a discoverer so such situations problem based activities should be given given to students then reinforcement in the form of knowledge of result that should also be given it can also this knowledge of result can act as a reinforcement in the case of children so bruner insists that proper cognitive development is through gradual increase in the level of abstraction of experiences here first there is a set of actions appropriate for achieving the result that is the inactive stage then a set of summary of images or graphics that stand for a concept that is the iconic and the third one a set of logical or 
symbolic prepositions that is the third stage symbolic stage so these are the major um, uh, part of Brunner's theory then coming to the evaluation questions first question what is discovery learning the second question explain the major stages or modes of explain the modes of representations proposed by Jerome Brunner explain the modes of representations proposed by Jerome S Brunner okay thank you